I'm Jordan Johnson here on the summit at Whitefish Mountain Resort, where the Forest Service has planted over 400 seedlings of the white bark pine. In our area, we have more mortality than anywhere else within the range, where up to 90% of the trees are dead in some places. Melissa Jenkins is a retired culturist for the Forest Service and says that there are many factors as to why the endangered tree species is in decline, from pine beetles to wildfires and also a virus. White pine blister rust. It's an introduced pathogen that came on seedlings we imported from Europe around the turn of the century, around 1900. White bark pine are the highest elevation pine tree, which makes it vital for a fruitful environment for animals and even insects. It's called the keystone species or a foundational species, which means without it being there, the ecosystems unravel and don't function correctly. White bark pine grows in adverse conditions, something Forest Service culturist Carl Anderson relates to. It's always at the top of a mountain, you know, so you get the great views and uh, the weather can be a challenge, but you know, white bark pine, that's what it likes. You know, it likes these extreme conditions. And so we, we go where, the, where they're hanging out and we try to help them along. Whitefish Mountain Resort was one of the first white bark pine friendly ski areas. It is also just one of 14 locations in the Flathead Forest from the Swan Valley to the Canadian border where the Forest Service collects seeds. In Whitefish, Jordan Johnson, MTN News.